Another match, we've got Jimmy versus Franco. Going to be playing the Rye Eggs matchup versus the Meganium deck. These are both Puka creations. Yes. The Rye Eggs deck was the Raichu deck that took Nationals by storm that year. Meganium is going to set up Meganiums pretty much and use the energy acceleration to do similar stuff as the Lugia Blastoise deck does. Try to use big attackers to take one-hit knockouts. Thank you, Yusuke, by the way, for the sub with Twitch Prime. Um, means a lot to us. Uh, yeah, I'll, a, pr a pretty good amount of effort went in. We're, we're using pretty much our regional setup here. Uh, because... Uh, why why would it like you know put a lot of effort into the store and then into some hits, stuff for uh, the post corona post quarantine for, uh, powers and bodies, right? era yeah. of this game on. when i started playing i started playing in 2007 i didn't think retro would ever be a thing no i would have never got rid of any of my cards <laughs> Two, i got rid of all of my cards i i can't tell you how many times i sold out all my cards right after Nationals was finished yeah, because like, our cards rotated in two months after that. I remember, I, I, I remember I'm looking back at it I, when, when all these prices spiked for retro stuff. I'm like, oh, all my collectors and ball toys. Right, and I, I sold that. everything. Just like, I just got gone. rid of it all. They're all gone. I, I kept a couple of things. I kept a Helix deck and I kept the Jump Bluff deck, but outside of that, it's really. One, two, three, four, five, I got nothing. Six, seven. All right. So, so this is a mechanic. Franco, I've taught my kids. Looks like so Jimmy Mulligan. I, draw my seven. I always put my deck where my prizes go. Oh, yeah. And the reason why is because if it comes to my turn and my deck's not there, I know my prizes aren't set. So I can still set them. Jimmy's talking deck. about ways to uh, sure. prevent forgetting to put your prizes out. Um, so what he does is he puts his deck on the opposite side that he was, that he is comfortable drawing it to drawing cards from. So that if he went to draw a card on the first turn of the game, you would go to reach for the draw and your deck wouldn't be there. And it's just a quick way to remind you to put your prizes out before you would see the first card you would have drawn for turn, which would result in a penalty in a tournament environment. Jimmy flipped over the cast for him a little early. Franco's still deciding who's going first. And Franco chooses to go second. Ooh, starts with a Magnemite. Um, not entirely sure if he will have a way to get that out of play. But... Yeah, may just leave that up in the active spot for a while. Yeah, no, Jimmy is definitely not a lefty. He 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 does it to prevent prevent forgetting to put his prize. Well, not not himself, but it's what he tells the younger players and the uh the newer players to the game as an easy way to not forget to put your prizes out. Well, there was a dude I used to kind of play test with that forgot his prizes all the time, and he had to write on his energies. Don't forget your prizes. <laughs> Complete other random note. I have a hollow energy signed by the dude. What was his name? He was on American Idol. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Simon. I think his name was William Hung. Oh, okay. I think that was his name. He was on American. He was the Shebang Shiboom guy. All right. Yes, yes. I know who you're talking he about. He was the Shebang Shiboom guy on American Idol. I have an energy, a hollow, a matrix energy uh, signed by him. He was the nicest guy when I came up and asked him for an autograph. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't even hesitate. He pulled a sharpie out of his pocket right there. He was playing that year, wasn't he? Did. he? I think he played. For a I, while. I, I I remember this now that you're talking yeah, about I, it. I think he played for a while too. I, I think he continued to play. I also have a, a card signed by Chumley from Pawn Stars. Yeah, I couldn't bring myself to do that one. I love that show. <laughs> love the show. It's, Definitely it's did so not want to meet him at events. Does he still stream? He used to stream. Um, yeah, they used to do some stuff. So Pikachu to the active. Franco is going to swoop the Magnemite out. 
for the Pikachu. All five. All five. Five, six, seven. They're going over the attack on the cast form. Allows you to draw cards equal to the amount of Delta Pokemon you have in play. <laughs> Sorry, I'll move my mic up. Jimmy is complaining he hasn't taken a prize card yet today. Hopefully this game will be a little different, but the Rye Eggs deck can definitely uh, get a very, very fast start and cruise through and take six prizes very quickly. Now there's a chance that... Could, could this Pikachu go down next turn? If, if this Pikachu is the only thing that's active? Oh, uh, looking at Jimmy's hand... I would say unlikely. It looks like his hand is filled with supporter oh, it cards. It doesn't matter anymore. There's a Pikachu after the uh, bunch. To a cast form then and at least Delta draw. Delta draw for like one. It doesn't matter. Like the game's not going anywhere. At least you could set up behind it, especially if you were going to set a Pikachu. Yeah, fair enough. Right. Jimmy's trying to tell Franco how really to play the deck. Who is winning? We all are winning. <laughs> We are all winning because we are watching this stream together. Yeah, this 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 match has just started. Um, Frank, no Franco is on his second turn of the game. There are no losers here, only winners. Jimmy draws a Crawdon EX, I believe that is. That is. It's um, also another card. I don't think I ever saw anybody other than Puka play himself. Um, similar to the. Dusknor Dark Palms ability that we saw in uh, like 2008-2010 format that if your opponent has too many bench Pokemon you can pick one up and get rid of it. Um, they could make some differences in this matchup but Franco will likely always have multiple attackers ready to go so it, it shouldn't ever stop Franco from attacking. Take it easy you guys. Well, there's a battle frontier hit the field. Against the Meganium deck, um, it's only going to stop the Pidgeots. But the Meganium deck, all, all decks played stadiums back then, so it was unlikely that a stadium got stuck the entire game unless you knew your opponent was completely out of them. I'm also low key rooting for the Meganium. I learned to play Pokemon with the Meganium EX deck. So, this, this Meganium has a special place in my heart. It's also the superior starter of Gen 2. And, uh, that's just, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure I agree with that. That's big facts. That's just big facts. Straight up. It's a giant flower dinosaur. And the giant dinosaur crocodile is much better. Fralligator is a square. Franco's going to play another set, well, you, swoop. Why do we feel like we have one other person here this morning? Nick Bolt. All full. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got kids at home. Chikorita was also my very first starter. My first Pokemon game was Pokemon Crystal. I started playing with red and blue, so... I typically went with my water starter until... Diamond and Pearl came out. <laughs> Blastoise, Blastoise is my favorite starter Pokemon ever. Yes. He's got cannons on his back. I mean, yes, for alligator is the word. <laughs> this just wrecks yeah. I mean, he did live in Japan, but I don't know if that's why he's going to win this game. <laughs> what, um, is it because of, uh, of the Pidgeot? Or... No, it shuts off the oh, dark. Off the dark. Yeah. There again, just going over what the Battle Frontier shuts down. Each player is colorless. Dark and metal evolved Pokemon can't use their powers and bodies. Pokemon is, is is from whatever region the Pokemon's from. Kanto, Hoenn, Sinnoh. They're not from Japan. 
I don't see Pikachu's chilling in Japan. I see him chilling in Kanto. Yeah, Franco's gonna Delta draw for <coughs> five cards. That's a thick Delta draw. See the first a couple of Raichus. So Franco will definitely be able to start attacking as soon as this he's is ready. Be the most expensive discard in the history of discards. I mean, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so quite it, discard. it sounds like Jimmy is about to discard a star Pokemon for his Holland supporter for the turn. Thick. Um, I believe oh, it was the yes. Latios star in the Meganium deck. Ray. Yep. The Ray? I think it's Ray. Either way, it's, uh, it's, it's a couple Benjamins. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so the Latios is not going to do... The attack is not going to help in this matchup. Um, it benefits off of attacking stage 2 Pokemon. And the entire Ryx deck is going to be stage 1 Pokemon. And he drew nothing. No, no Chikorita. And he can't search it out either. He, oh, he, and we are going to clutch the cast for Oh! Here we go. Power Tree is going to get the Grass Energy back. Uh, Franco will not be able to use the Power Tree. Uh, the special metal energies will prevent that most of the game, but removing the Battle Frontier is probably the ultimate goal of countering that stadium. Like, yeah, eventually I'll kill it, though. Yeah. Well, the clutch on the Pidgeotto does 10 damage. Oh, right. is fantastic. The Pidgey just straight clutches, doesn't do any damage. And you clutch for 40 with the Pidgey up. Yes. The entire Pidgey line clutches, which Ooh. is... Obnoxious that you can hard evolve through it the entire way and keep your opponents active stuck there. So we see Franco play both so of the Raichus. The <laughs> so uh, uh, and since the cast form is clutched and stuck yeah, in the active position, going, right? uh, Franco is just going to draw some more cards. <laughs> He's gonna get, he could get copycatted or scientists. Yeah, I have to assume at this point Jimmy will the likely be looking for a copycat. The yeah, definitely going to play that mentor. Here comes the Chikoritas. Yep. So Jimmy will finally set up the rest of his board three to four turns late. <laughs> See him looking at that Pidgey. Can't take that. I want to see the cr I like I know the crawdon doesn't do much, but I want to see the crawdon. Looking at the Make a Wish Jirachi. All right. I think what he's gonna go for here. I mean, he might be there's the Corfish. The Corfish Jirachi Chikorita. Yeah, you see, Jimmy's likely recognizing that there are only the two oh Raichus. My God. I prized all my Chikoritas. Oh no. So oh. Jimmy is recognizing that oh. all of his Chikoritas are in the prize cards. He's going to fan through it a little more thoroughly for us there. Oof. And oh. we are going to see that the virtual engine of this deck is not there. Um, I would say uh, F's in the chat. Jimmy needs to be given a little notepad so he can draw some frowny faces. <laughs> Because I would say the only time I've ever seen this happen is when the, what was it, the Rowlets. We had four yeah. Rowlets in the yeah. prize cards for... Um, so, not entirely sure how we're going to do so, this. Well, Maybe clutch the cast form and hope that the first prize is a Chikorita? It's a 50% chance. I think no, he plays. Yeah, it's more. There are four Chikoritas in the prizes. So it's. Oof. We're going to pull up a list real quick and double check that it maxed out Chikorita right. if there were only three. 
But well, Jimmy maybe, will definitely have to switch up the game plan. You here. might get your wish of some some crawdunt. Yeah, the the <laughs> crawdunt might have to be used to slow this game down yeah, drastically. Just, all right, so there are only two. Um, so there's a twenty five, no, thirty three percent. I was not a good math student. We'll check out the deck list real quick. Two. Yeah, prized both the chikoritas. Imagine doing that today. I mean, I, I mean, I started playing in 07, and I and I never built my own decks till like 2009, but it was always four. Yeah, Kettler didn't. Kettler was one of the top four people because it was all Puka's team, and Puka was the only one who did not top <laughs> with the Ryags, and it was his deck. Wait, wait, so Kettler was the one who did best with Rye Eggs and the one who prized his four Rowlets that time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. So Jimmy's going to try to figure out how to move forward in this game. There's going to be no time walks or this, anything like that to save the prizes either. Yes. This 06 having the potential to be slower games um, might give him a way to take some cheap prizes and see see some prize cards to get to those Chikoritas. However, the Rye Eggs deck may be a little unforgiving. I wouldn't call the 2010 oh, format luck-based, but Azolf definitely helped. Uh, helped in in this matchup, uh, like you know, obviously being able to look in your prizes and seeing what is available to you is a uh, yeah. It was be. much more important to know what your prizes search, are. search your deck thoroughly at the beginning of the game to know what cards you weren't going to have access to throughout the majority of that match. Frank evolves into Executor, attaches yeah. to the Executor. We'll get rid of that power tree so Jimmy doesn't have an easy way to return those grass energy to his hand. It gets zapped. It looks like Franco recognizes that the crawdunt is a slight way for Jimmy to get back into this game. He's going to target that down with the bench damage. Zap's going to do 20 damage to each Pokemon that has any powers or bodies. Uh, I would like to think we're not going to see a Metallic Thunder. But if we're taking a Crucial Knockout with it, no reason not to. Uh, quick search. Yep. But everything in the Meganium deck will have a power or an ability at some point in the evolution line. So Zap will definitely begin to spread a lot of damage. Looks like Jimmy might be eyeing up a warp point with the quick search. Or the stump. See, I think getting rid of the... Getting rid of Jimmy's way to recycle the energy. Almost giving him free retreat to get rid of this... Uh, to retreat this Jirachi. Is a... Is a bigger problem than it, than it looks like. Seven, right? yep. And Jimmy's on the edge between a couple of different cards here. Well, no, it's nine. Oh. I don't think that's going to change anything. Okay. I'm going to go back in. Okay. I don't have to show you that rare candy, by the way. What rare candy? <laughs> They're laughing that you do not have to reveal the card that is searched off of the Pidget power. It is close to our expanded computer search. You you are allowed to keep that card secret. And we will immediately Elms for another evolution. Going to see that crowd on right oh, away. Oh, there's a crowd on. Oh, no. You didn't know what that did, Franco? Oh, 
god. And Franco just realized what it is. He definitely knows what the Dark Palm yeah. Dusknor does. So the, I believe the Dusknor returned the Pokemon and all cards to the deck. Splashback only puts it back into their hand, but removing, making them use another turn for energy attachment, and the fact that all of Franco's Pokemon are stage ones will force him to have to spend a couple of Franco, Franco, it's in your hand. Nope, nope. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not as ridiculous as Dark Palms, but the impact of removing that Pokemon from play is still the same. And it is cornered as well. Clutch. Clutched. <laughs> A special metal coming down on the Raichu. Yeah, Franco has a ton of cards in his hand, but doesn't look like he has a whole lot to do. He's just zapping. Yep, gonna put 20 on the Crawdunt, and that's about it. Is that right? We're right. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're right. Yeah. Now, Jimmy's real only hope that he is gonna get a knockout this turn, I believe. Yes, the Raichu only has 70 hit points. So and Franco was is, was not able to rebench his his next attacker because it would have just been picked up by a Crawdunt again. So he will almost have to allow Jimmy to take a couple of prizes before he can efficiently set up a, a streaming attackers. Which might just be what Jimmy needs to get the Chikoritas out of his prizes. No one, no one hits luck today. It might be the last two prizes. He'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll be the top two. It was Martin Moreno that won Nats with Ryegs. Kettler did top, though. Jimmy definitely taking his time to think out some plays here. Can cannot afford to make a a wrong play at any stage in this game, really. Everything is going to have to go perfect, or at least in his favor. Does he play? Oh yeah, he plays the cast forms and stuff, so that Crawdon can attack. If it gets if, to that, yeah. If, it may get to that if he can't get those Chikoritas. Unless he's going to go Pidgeot. I mean, the Pidgeot Clutch is not a bad option. I do like how that Raichu is, is nice and plump. And fluffy looking. I suppose it is a pretty thick Raichu. That is. Yeah, I, I miss Pikachu being fat. I don't know if you know, but Pikachu's now skinny well, in the anime. It's 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 Pikachu supposed to be a, a chubby mouse creature, but it's twenty plus years old. You don't think you would have formulated a fitness plan in those twenty some years? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so Jimmy gets to put another Pokemon back to Franco's hand. I think they're just fat shaming Pikachu. Yeah. Gonna retreat and can he not retreat because he clutched? No, the Raichu doesn't oh, clutch. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> 20, 20 to everything with a power and you can't retreat. Oh my goodness! F in the chat for me this time. So it looks like Jimmy went a direction that I was also gonna suggest with the cast form is attacking with the Jirachi. Um, just doing a. Suppose solid 30 damage and flipping for confusion, but that is the confusion. He did get heads. Um, definitely can stop Franco from attacking for a couple of turns. Um, I suppose oddly a metal Raichu is not resistance to psychic. The Delta Pokemon all had wacky weaknesses. 
One for transceiver. Gonna get back adventure, draw four cards likely. Three cards, I'm sorry. And not gonna flip through confusion. Oh. Might have taken the flip. Because the attack is going to knock him out anyways. Um, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why I didn't go for that. Here, Pokemon has powers. Well, he's got the Cursed Stone in play. Jimmy going to play another Transceiver. Grab that scientist. scientist and draw some more cards. Yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of cards drawn here. Yep. Six. Draw six. Franco has 12 cards in his hand right now. Jimmy's drawing six oh, cards off of the scientist. <laughs> and it looks like he's seen both of the Meganiums in those six cards. And a bay leaf, I believe. Yep. So it's going to be a while before we see those come down. He could take the knockout here. Uh, I have not quick searched yet. Get a knockout, get the prize. Hope it's a Chikorita. He does have the rare candy in his hand, too. Uh, rare candy, Meganium. There's still a prize. Oh, so he could take a prize here. Then he could get the Meganium. Or get the Chikorita for the Meganium. Is that a... The that? Onyx. onyx. Because the Meganium is similar to Blastoise. the Blastoise with the Rain Dance power, Jimmy can play multiple energy in a turn so that he can potentially stream the sniping attack on the Steelix EX, similar to how the Lugia Blastoise deck would. And I mean, even though his, his Chikoritas are in his prizes, he's not in that horrible no, I, of a I would, position. I would say the Crawdon EX has definitely slowed the game down to where Jimmy could find a way to claw his way into setting up the deck the way it's supposed to work. So we could search oh, out. Oh, oh, so you put it on regardless if you got yes. something. Well, if you search your deck, you do it. Oh, so I think this this not, this this match in Jimmy's situation is a perfect example to show just how good the search up uh, power on the Pidget is. Just being able to search your deck for the optimal card every turn and be able to make plays with your deck that you wouldn't normally go through the motions with. Because if you don't prize all your Chikoritas, you would normally not have to do those things. But when you can just search your deck for any card on the spot, it allows you to make some rather unorthodox plays. Attaches cast form to the executor. Now, Jimmy's going to let this Raichu stick around for a little while. Franco's going to take the first prize of the game. Double prize takes right. two. There's another Meganium top deck. Jimmy has a Steelix. I think what he probably really wants to find is a counter stadium because that. That's gonna just yeah, start the ticking away. Cursed the Stone, I believe was the name of it, is putting a damage on all of Jimmy's Pokemons with powers and bodies. So that Crawdon may only have 90 HP. That might be going in the next turn or so here. It doesn't look like yep. Jimmy is going to have an attack this turn, but he's gonna move the Cast Form energy to okay. some rather irrelevant attackers. 
the Steelix has 150 HP, so it can yes, can, it could take a few of the, the, take a few damage counters, but Franco's at four prizes, and looking at being at two here soon. Goes to drawing nine for the scientist. I can't wait to see somebody play a copycat, which I'm not sure is in either of these decks right now. Yep. Can replay stadium. that power tree. A lot of stadiums. Yep. So eight. Pseudo Wudo. Yeah, I, I would have to read that one too, to be honest. It's like Franco's going to give it a read. I'm just trying to make it so, Sudowoodo, choose one of the defending Pokemon's uh, attacks. Copy that yeah. attack. This attack does nothing if Sudowoodo doesn't have the proper energy requirement. Um, so, we're not going to copy... Pass. Not going to do much to the Executor. Because Jimmy does not have Delta Pokemon in play. I'm not sure if either of these lists play, play it. Unfortunately, you might have to deal with some scientists for 10. Drachi, Hollis, Cast for Sudowoodo, nope. Sudowoodo. No copycat. Yeah, so both players. Oh, neither one plays know copycat. they have Rockets admins, but that will be the only way they have to disrupt their hands. That might be what Jimmy has to do, is he's going to. He can. Right, Jimmy's got to have close to 20 some cards in his hand. Cast form. Gets the cast form. We'll be able to attack for 70. Uh, they're just they're redoing. They're trying to figure out they got the delta <laughs> circle damage correct. Minus 10, no, no, no. Yeah, you're right. 80. Yeah. yeah, they had it right. Oh, wait, no, nope. this is after finally we get So 90? No, 90. Looks like we what? forgot about forgot weakness. Okay. How is that 90? It's 10 plus. So 10, 20, 20, 30, 30, 30 40, 40, 50, 40, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, times 2. Times it, counts two minus 10. it counts itself. It counts itself. So 90 damage gets put on the Steelix after weakness and after the 10 damage is reduced from the double rainbow energy. So it does put the Steelix in two shot range. So I I want to believe Franco has another way to attack in with the size of the hands these players have. I'm gonna go back in anyway. So yeah. right, Candy Pidgeot, Pidgeot, Pidgeot. See Jimmy's second Pidgeot of the game. It's gonna be good getting the quick search ability back online. Well, looks like Jimmy might be 10 short of taking a prize on this turn. Which may I've turn out to be attacks. a big deal. Uh, play training method. I've attached um, quick search for I don't know what. Well, Jimmy only has a few cards left in his deck. You know, so even if it would happen, you know. All Franco needs is an energy, and he's knocking out. He'd split bomb the Crawdot, go down to two prizes, and take a dent. I don't know why. It seems logical. Um, it's something. I don't think they have any into the cards, into so the Steelix. If I do, they're in the, to bring it to they're in the prizes as well. one twenty, right. and all it takes is another right. split bomb. Doesn't knock it. Oh yeah, that's seven. Yep, Metal Charge is only doing 70 damage. Leaves the Executor at 10. Yeah, it's not looking very good here for Jimmy. <sighs> Counter State, yep. That's legit game right there. Yeah, it's game. 
I don't have a stadium to get that out of there. Uh, yeah. No, it's game. I'll play it out. But Here, Jimmy, it sounds like there's no more stadium cards left in the deck. Well, he could split bomb if he just attaches an energy. He could split bomb, knock out, knock out. For which one? He could not. Well, if he split bombed, he could have knocked out the. Oh, the crawdon. crawdon. Yes. And then, and then in between oh, the, his, his next turn, the Steelix would have gone. Oh, so it had. One oh, okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> Show me, man. Nine. No, I'm. I'm. No. Are you turned off? Wait. Let me play this different then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So let me play that differently. Sure, sure. Right, oh. so Looks like Jimmy's gonna change some things around. So we everybody seems to already think he doesn't have a play to even remove the curse stone. So we're gonna look at some different options and see if we can get the game to go a couple more turns here. Celebi is interesting. Okay. Let's him put a card on top of his deck. He's going to immediately search the power tree back out of his deck with Pidgeot. So it looks like he's going to have a way to bump the stadium, but we'll still be a card short. Franco did did spawn. He has, well, because he hasn't been playing bench Pokemon down for the crowd on to, to get. Yeah, he was, he was basically forced to play this game with three bench. Which is the Rye Eggs deck definitely wants to fill up the bench and just yeah, spread damage with the Raichu um, and hit and for massive add, damage with the Executor. Kill you? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You just zap it. Yep. Game's over. Game over. Yeah, Jimmy going over a few different plays he could have done, but the Raichu being on the bench would have sniped damaged the Crawdon EX. That's extremely rough, though. Yeah, giving the him his last two prizes. The Chikoritas were... Those prizes were just horrible. Oh, the retriever was also in the prize, so and the switch. We weren't gonna get anything back. No. Uh, All right, so we should have another game going pretty quick. No prizes. Yes, today. Jimmy has not taken any prizes <laughs> yet today. J Jimmy, you gotta <laughs> you, you gotta play in the next game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You gotta take you gotta take a prize. I'm not playing this stupid deck. Yeah. No. Yeah. They. <laughs> <laughs> the best part about it is it's worth a lot of money. What's worth money in that deck? Oh, there's a Latios in there. Never mind. Yeah, there's a Latios, a Steelix. The admins. We're, we're looking at the price of the deck now. It's not LBS why? expensive. But... Jimmy, why, why not take that prize on the Raichu? Because he was scrambled on the bench. And then that gives him pow, and I was... Could have just killed the pigeon. Okay. I would have been totally screwed. He needed to take the first prize. Yeah. So I almost was willing to sacrifice the pigeon to curse stone. That's why I didn't change it out the one turn. Just so that he would go up two prizes. Yeah. So that I could play my turns without worrying about pow. Okay. That deck runs three or four pow. Yeah. Most of the most of the game Jimmy was playing around pow, which is why he did not take prizes on turns he could have. Needed to be able, he could give himself a couple of turns of setup, avoiding pow and being able to set up his game the way he needed to play. Yeah. I think he's going to play one last game. That would be the sixth game of the day. We've been streamed for a good four hours now. Hope you all are having a wonderful time. Um, but we'll be back with uh, our next game here real soon.